Cowboy Bob and Wrangler Gale arrive to IndyVet with Leela and Rocky T who are excited to come for their blood donation. A health survey is given to each client to review each donor's health since their last donation. The health survey requests information for any illness or problem the donor may have had since their last donation that might be important for us to know about. After the health survey, the next step is to get an accurate weight on the donors. After the donor is weighed, comes the walk through the hospital to the blood bank, where the donation will then take place. As you can see, both Leela and Rocky T can't wait to get to see the blood bank technicians. Cowboy Bob, Wrangler Gale, Leela, and Rocky T cheerfully arrive to the blood bank and are greeted by Carrie. The next step is for the blood donor to receive a comprehensive physical examination to assure that no unnoticed disease or condition is present that would disqualify the donor from donating. The heart and lungs are carefully escalted to assure that no abnormal heart rhythm is present that would prevent a donation. After the examination, the doctor closely reviews the donor's medical record to determine if any vaccinations, blood work, or other follow-up needs to be done. The results of the physical exam and history are documented in the donor's medical record. Leela needs her vaccinations, so she receives her rabies shot in the right rear limb. She receives her distemper, hepatitis, leptospirosis, parainfluenza, and parvovirus vaccine in her right front limb. And her border vaccine is given as a liquid solution in her mouth. The next step is getting a small blood sample to check the percentage of red blood cells in Leela's blood to assure that she is not anemic. The sample is used to fill a small glass tube which is plugged with clay prior to being placed into a centrifuge where the sample will be spun at 12,500 RPM for three minutes. Once the centrifugation is complete, the tube is removed from the centrifuge and placed on a measuring device to measure the percentage of red blood cells in the blood. In this case, Leela's pack cell volume is a little over 50%, which is outstanding. Now that we know Leela is fully qualified to donate, the next step is to give a very small intravenous tranquilizer to relax Leela for the donation.
A small spot on the neck is prepared by scrubbing it with surgical soap and alcohol. The donation is secured by threading a needle into the vein, allowing blood to gravity flow into a donation bag that has anticoagulant in it. The other two bags connected to the primary bag are for later separation of the plasma from the blood and to add a preservative to the packed red blood cells that allow them to survive for up to 42 days. You can see the numbers rapidly going up on the scale showing how many cc's of blood have been collected. We collect 450 cc's of blood from large dogs. We're almost done with Leela's donation. Once the donation is complete, the donor gets an IndyVet Hero Bandana, and as you can see, the sedative has no effect on her ability to get down and walk. Or to get lots of love and rubs for her brave donation. The collected blood is placed in a large centrifuge that spins the blood for seven to eight minutes to separate the red blood cells from the plasma. Once the centrifugation is complete, the blood bag is carefully removed to assure that the red blood cells are not resuspended in the plasma. The bag is then placed in a squeeze device that slowly squeezes the plasma out of the blood bag into the attached transfer bag causing only the red blood cells to remain in the original bag. A preservative called Optisol is in the remaining third bag. This is allowed to flow into the original collection bag with the packed red blood cells to give them a lifespan of 42 days. The bags are prepared and separated giving a unit of plasma and a unit of red blood cells. The red blood cell bag is labeled and placed into the refrigerator until it is used or shipped. The plasma bag is placed in a protective box, is labeled, and then placed in the freezer until used or shipped. Plasma is good for up to five years. Well, it's time for Leela and Rocky T to head for home. As you can see, they're not drowsy and are pulling Carrie back to the reception area and are happy to head for home. A happy reunion with Cowboy Bob and Wrangler Gale. The vaccination certificates and any preventative medications are given for each donor in a discharge bag. And then it's off for home. <laughs>